love a crunchy. Just when you think it's finished, you think, ah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, what's that crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the lovely, the handsome, the sexy, the beautiful. There's so much I can go on. Uh, Mickey Flanagan, this is look after yourself. You should. Let's go. My wife's terrified about my health. She's always worried. She looked at me the other day. She said, what you going to do if you have a stroke? I said, oh, that's cheerful, isn't it? I said, never mind what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? I said, you got to act fast. Seen the advert, face, arm, feet. <laughs> Gotta go. She said, That's how you wind up two or three times a week. What am I supposed to do? I said, All right, there's no need for that. I said, Anyway, what you worried about me having a stroke for? She said, Oh, I read a thing in the paper the other day about the number of men who have a stroke and that, and then they can't sort of make the financial decisions, they can't release the money from the account. <laughs> And the wife ends up skint. I said, oh, here we go. We're getting to the heart of the matter now. So we went to a solicitor and I've more or less signed a letter saying that should I become incapacitated and unable to make sound financial decisions, she gets all the money and she can do what she likes of it. It's left me a little bit paranoid. I keep getting this terrible vision of me by the sunny window. With a bit of potato on me chin. And her coming in in a new outfit and a new bag and me, no fucking hell, a new bag, you don't need a new bag. I know it's a bit strong this bit, isn't it? I know you're in So it's me having the stroke here, by the way. You know, fucking need a new bag. Why you go fucking me? <laughs> Mrs. Flanagan, whenever you turn up, your husband gets really, really stressed out. He does. Uh, you, however, look fantastic yet again. Is that a money? <laughs> So consequently, because my wife's worried about my health, we end up sort of living this slightly sort of like, like a monastery. There's no treats in the house. Never any treats. Nothing. A rice cake if I'm lucky. <laughs> but I came in the other day and I think she felt a bit guilty. She looked at me. She said, oh, there's a treat in the cupboard for you. I thought, aye, aye. Wagon wheel. <laughs> Lion bar. <laughs> crunchy. Ooh. <laughs> Love a crunchy. Just when you think it's finished, you think, aye, aye. Aye, 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 aye. What a job. I've opened the cupboard up. What's there? Some dried dates. <laughs> when did they become a treat? Some shit that turned up every Christmas, weren't it? In the long box with the stick. <laughs> so you go, who eats these, Mum? Who actually eats these? used to say on the box, eat me, you go, no fucking way, I'm not eating that. It's in a quality street over here, what do you think, I'm thick? Are you out or where you out? Quality street over here, what? Who oh, I love I love his story because they just it's so real, literally. Especially with the lion bar whatever, crunchy. Yeah, it happens to me loads of time with Snickers, loads of time. Oh my god, I absolutely love this geezer. I can react to this geezer all day, all day. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, like, I'll give you time. Like it now. Are you subscribed? Now push the notification button. So you do know when I post. I post three times a day. A day. I love doing this. Yeah, you guys know that. Yeah, thank you for the support. Check out the Patreon if you want to support me more. Check out the membership if you want to support me. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.